Good morning, welcome back to another video. My name is JP. Today we are at the car boot. We're at a car boot in Chesterfield. Chesterfield Stadium, hard ground, hard standing car boot sale. And we're gonna see what we can find. We are a little bit late, it's seven o'clock. And this one opens at half past six. So I can see a lot of people in there finding all the bargains, but it's gonna be all right. We've, we've been late before and we still find lots of good stuff, so. And later on in the video, we're gonna have a look at what's been selling from my eBay store after I've been away. I've not really been listing a lot, but some interesting things have sold. So hang around for that. Uh, but yeah, let's go and see if we can find some bargains. Let's go. Thank, Thank you so you. much. For him? 50p. 50p. Anything on this table in that box is 50p, 50p for a pound. Okay. Amazing. Cards, mate. Oh, quite a okay. They're all, every card's different. Yeah, yeah. We just we just sell them like separately as well. If you want to look through it, mate, then. How, how much like individual cards you think? Well, 
all right we've been all the way around uh, but it did start raining and the wind is just the wind is just too bad so i did stop filming for a little bit and we're gonna go back around hopefully we can find some some more good stuff because we've been pretty good so far all right bye. we didn't find anything else and we are back so let's go through the haul that i have collected today i say collected i mean bought did pay for these things and this is everything here so let's start with these little mario and monster trucks here because these all came in a bundle so i got 12 monster trucks here all together plus these for 10 pounds is that right no that's not right 10 there's 10 monster trucks two little mario kart pull back spinny things and they were 10 pounds that was the first thing that i bought these probably the better things of the deal really i think these are probably worth about six pounds each these are the worst ones so these are just like non non-branded i think i know there's a brand on there adventure force not heard of that this one's not really branded i think so they're just not really worth anything but the rest of them here sell these for usually about usually about six pounds each sometimes they could be worth more sometimes obviously they're worth less or they just don't sell and then i'll end up just selling them for what i bought them for but either way these are all hot wheels monster trucks so there's a few different ones there this one i think is probably the best one or most popular one the grave digger sold loads of these and this one's like a different color so that looks pretty cool and this one i've sold before as well got two of this one one bad ghoul um these kind of things sell quite well like the dinosaur ones this one looks like some sort of fish i don't know and and what's this one hot wheels delivery just got some flames on there that one's pretty cool but I mean, these are just, you know, quite collectible. The, the older ones that you can't buy in the shops anymore, people are going to spend six to ten pounds on maximum. Sometimes a little bit more, but yeah, that size, six to ten pounds. So not bad on those. And then we've got some more vehicles over here. We just picked up this little Corgi Jaguar. Not in amazing condition, but it was only 40 pence. Um, and someone might just like to, you know, give that a repaint, so... Could be worth, could be worth four or five pounds, so not loads of money in that one. Um, and I yeah paid forty p for that. Paid fifty p for this Hot Wheels TMNT wagon, Super Ninja Turtles. They're not Super Ninja Turtles. Why did I say that? Um, yeah, I've just got a bit of a collection of these. Really hard to find them loose. So when I when I find them, I'm just gonna pick them up every time. And then we got these Eddie Stobart trucks. Um. And these were like three for a pound, so really cheap. And I've only got two, but it came with this guy over here. Um, and they're Corgi, Corgi toys. So they're probably, they're not, you know, they're only little models, so they're not worth loads. Obviously, the bigger ones can fetch 10, 15, even 20, 20 pounds for some bigger bigger trucks like these. Um, a few marks on them as well. So probably only four or five quid max for those. We've got this Robux, Roblox car. Thought this looked pretty cool. Just picked it out of the out of a box, which I always I was always just gonna leave, but it was 50p each for everything, so I thought, you know, I might as well try and find oh, it was free 50p each, 50 pounds. So I thought I was just gonna try and find a bunch of things, but this is the kind of thing that I'll bundle together when I've got a bit more. And Roblox is still quite popular, so that'll sell quite well. Then we've got this guy who I obviously thought was Ben 10. I think everyone's Ben 10. Um, but just having a quick Google search, this is the Talking Miles Astronaut. Miles the Astronaut or something like that. Um, let's have a look. It's Disney. He's from Disney Store London. Uh, but yeah, working. He should be selling for about 10 to 15. And I paid like 30 pence for him. So not bad at all. Maybe not working, but... You know what can you do then we've got this buzz figure over here best thing about this everything's working on him and it's and it's sounding good every time i pick up one of these it's either not working or it's working a little bit even his things work there lights working everything's good got his helmet really good condition he's a he's a disney store london one and that was four pounds that i paid for him 
he should sell for um, around 20 to 25. So really good there. And then moving on, we've got some PS3 games. Not in the best condition, this box, but it's Call of Duty Black Ops. I paid 150 for both of these games. 75p each. Not loads of money. Probably only worth four or five quid. We got Batman Arkham City. No idea how much this is worth. Not in the best condition on this sleeve as well, but underneath it is in a lot better condition, obviously, because the sleeve's there. Um, check them, disc, manual. Oh, you don't really get a manual anymore with these games, but you know what I mean. You get that little one sheet. Um, but yeah, probably worth max four or five quid um so those and then we got uh teenage mutant ninja turtles dvd this was one pound the shredder strikes it's from 2004 so that's just for the collection um we got some more monster trucks i paid one pound each for these ones this one's probably the better one so one similar to this um wasn't this one, but it was similar to this. It was like a fire engine kind of thing. That sold for like £10. And I've sold this one before for sure. Um, yeah, all Hot Wheels again, I think. No Monster Jam this time. Or is this a Monster Jam? I don't know. I don't know what that one is. Yeah, it's Monster Jam, that one. I think that one is. No, that one's Hot Wheels. Anyway, yeah, same again. Five, six pounds maybe for those each. And then, finally, we've got a bundle of Harry Potter books. Got seven books. They wanted 50p each. I just said, I'll take them all. And they let me have them for £3. So seven books. All the books in the series, I think. Maybe there's one missing. I don't know. I think there's definitely Hallows Part 2. Or is that just... I don't know. Anyway, this one's like a different cover. So I thought that might be cool. But it's probably not worth loads. So I'll probably just end up selling that as a bundle. Um, probably not for loads of money as well. Maybe I'm going to aim for like 15 quid, you know, not loads of money, but it's something. And yeah, that's the haul. That's everything. So I think I've done pretty good there. It's not, you know, there's not loads of stuff and there's nothing particularly stand out, but these are really good things that I can put on my shop and they don't sell that fast, but when they sell, it's quite a lot of profit from what you've paid for them. So yeah, really happy with those. Big bundle of monster trucks. Always picking up monster trucks. Um, yeah. So now let's look through some souls. Let's do this. I'm going to start with these Dickies jeans. Got these for a very small price in a bundle. And they've got a hole in the pocket. So sold them pretty cheap. They went for £13.49. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we've got this Rydale shirt. This sold on offer for eight pounds. Nothing special, is it? It's just it's just like a country it's country wear clothing. Um but it's a good size, size XL, and it's in good condition. Short sleeve shirt, good for the sunny weather when you're on your farm. And that sold for eight pounds. And then we sold this Nike Air long sleeve top. It's quite nice. It's got this like silvery logo on it. Really good condition as well. Wanted a bit more for it. I had it listed for 25, but it's been up there for a while. So took an offer at £17. So this Mickey Mouse backpack. It's got Mickey Mouse little plush on there. You know, little kid's backpack or adult backpack, whatever. You know, for whatever. It's, it's, a, it's like a Disney Parks one. So I think it's from one of the Disney Parks. Not sure which one. Probably Paris, let's be honest. Um, bought that for £3, sold it for 15 Sold some tops. Um, Champions League stickers from 2022-23. So they're an older season, but I picked two boxes up of, the, up of these and they were £5 each. So I've got 100 packs of stickers, or I did. And I've just about probably made my money back. They've been selling really slow, but if I can sell them all... It's a lot of money. Pound each. 100 packs. 100 quid out of 10 quid. It's just going to take some time. But I don't mind that. I like little things like that. And so I did sell a bundle of them. So hopefully people will bundle loads up and take like 10 at a time. But it's not quite happened yet. So this Fiat Panda diecast collectible car in the box. Never been opened. Might have been opened. 
but it's not sealed or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's new in the box. Anyway, that sold for £10. Got that for free. Sold this PS1 game, Dancing Stage. Picked this up a while ago and it was only 50p from a from a shop in Matlock, charity shop in Matlock. So really good. And that sold for £8. Really good condition. Complete with the manual. I sold this. Medieval Resurrection on the PSP. Complete with the manual in there. Uh, I picked that up for £1.50 and it sold for £7. So not loads of profit, but nice and easy to pack, nice and easy to send. Some interesting sales. Sold this Barbie figure, picked this up for £1.50. It sold for £8.50. Finally, the best sale. Sold this Fallout Loot Gaming. Uh, it's like a Power Armor figure and it's a Nuka Cola variant. So it is new and sealed. It's sealed there so i don't actually i've not actually seen it not seen inside the box sold it new and sealed obviously picked that up for four pounds in the charity shop and that sold for 25 pounds so really happy with that and that's everything so yeah not loads of sales but some some unique things so i thought it'd just be cool to include that in the video and i've not been listing really at all i did i did some listing the other day but i've just really not had time trying to catch up with things i'm gonna start nailing the listing soon so hopefully we'll see the sales picking up and there'll be a lot more um but yeah that's going to be the end of the video if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel all of that stuff and i'll see you in the next video goodbye